the school. Every year, hundreds of youngsters from around the globe frequent this urban wilderness and take part in this educational cycle in the pursuit of an education. Today we will take a step into their world and show you these strange places like you've never seen before. The first year stirs. His emergence marks the beginning of his second level education. Unbeknownst to him, the dangers that lie ahead. It's time to step away from the safety of primary school days into this harsh, unforgiving environment. With his Jansport 5-zip backpack, over-equipped with essential tools required for his survival, he hopes to be prepared for whatever lies ahead. Observing from a distance is the older, more developed six-year males. They begin to physically intimidate the younger, less developed first-year infant. In an act of primal dominance, they initiate a desperate attempt to attract attention from all surrounding females. In a cruel twist of fate, the opposite often occurs. They manage to repel the human females, who look on with dissent and repulsion. The average trip to the lavatory becomes the first treacherous challenge in which he shall face. It is here in which all of his previous experiences shall be put to the test which he learns promptly is a far trickier situation than previously anticipated. He sets his large bottle of distilled water Copy, large book, and multiple packs of pristine twistable Crayolas onto the table, signaling the beginning of his first lesson. Right, it's your first day of first year. I want to see what you've got. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. When the sun reaches its peak, the daily feeding ritual begins. A gulp of homo sapiens emerge from the classrooms in search of a splatter of food. Other, more intelligent members of this species bring their own appetizing meals. They do not succumb to this daily ritual. Certain groups take on the shifty odyssey to the bountiful land of the village, mainly to the grounds of super value. To the brave who make this journey, many obstacles will lie ahead. Unfortunately, many will not survive this journey as prey lurks in the shadows. With the moon at its peak, they return to their respective place of dwelling to repeat the cycle all over again the very next day. What a day, what a day. We're here today with Adam Keeley, uh, the writer of his new book, uh, the Top right. Six Ways to Get Out uh, to get in a Class. Right, so Adam, uh, mm. 
I understand. Is this your first book? It is my first book, Ben. My top six ways of getting out of class, yeah. So, uh, the book is very graphic in nature. Graphic um, in nature. What do you think As about the young students reading the book with all the cursing and all the nudity? If you want to get out of class, you're just going to have to do some things you never thought you would, so... Rolling! Dylan, Dylan O'Brien. <laughs> Hayley Reynolds, we're in Miss Priceless's room. Um, we're here to ask Hayley some questions. Yeah. Okay, if you could have <laughs> one message to incoming six years, what would it be? Um, my favourite thing about our year is that even though we all have our groups, we all mix and blend. Um, I think we've come together over the last few years. It might have been a bit divided at first, but as six year went on, everyone kind of came in together. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, no, you have some uh, sound people in the group, you know, and it's a, it's a different mix of people as well, which is always a nice thing to have as well, so. Enjoy the year. Yeah. Take breaks. They all have to crack with you. Doesn't matter who you are or what you look like. Just have to crack and get on with you. Um, like everyone's just been really helpful to each other because like everyone's stressed and yeah. Everybody's kind of come together this year to really show what they want, what they like. We have so many musicians and artists, and this year that's really kind of come out and everybody's kind of supported each other in terms of listening to what they want to do and thinking, oh. Yeah, that's really cool, so. My favourite thing about people in our year is that everyone's looking for a good time. Uh, I don't know, I think just the people i met, like, just how we've all changed since first year and all. Uh, my favourite thing about the people in our year are, they're really friendly and you, you get along with a lot of people, I've made a lot of new friends, but um, that being said, I'm sitting here with Tom, who I've known since I was in the Nina. You like him this year? My favourite thing about the people in the year is like how welcoming everyone was, like when I came in from the, like my old year, yeah. and everyone was just like really nice and like welcoming me in, and they were just like really nice. So. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh. Meet up with your friends, go out. And what would I miss most about them? Well, I suppose each and every one of them, because every student brings something. It can be academia, it can be personality, it can be a bit of crack. Every student brings something different. I say my favourite memory would be the time when we had the annex and um, like leaks through the roof. And one of the days, Miss Gibbs was before, and there was all of us like, what, we have goggles, swimming hats, umbrellas, someone had rain jacket, I think. We all just like bundled up in the hall. There is the time Adam Cayley pushed me in a pool. I won't forget that. <laughs> um, keep your sports and your activities up. All the sporting memories that I have. I'm gonna miss playing with some girls that I would probably never play with again. When we were in second year, I was sitting beside Carl in French. <laughs> and the, he, had, he put up his hand to go to the toilet and the French teacher is actually French. And uh, he put up his hand to go to the toilet and she said we oh, and he said no poo. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite memory. It's not really like a good memory, but like I just remember when we used to like have to carry around all our books inside of our bags and I thought that was really like no one knows about book slaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love having all the girls at lunch and it's just nice to all be together every day. So Frank, who's your favourite student of the year? Uh, it has to be Frank. 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 <laughs> I'd have probably go with Frank. Like, have been mate with him for the last six years. He's only been in there for me and I've always been there for him. So, I have to vote him probably. Oh, it's, oh, it's gotta, gotta be Frank. Frank. Oh, it's oh, definitely Frank. Frank. I suppose Frank Carty. Frank Carty, definitely. 100%. Welcome to Never Have I Ever with all of us. Uh, never have I ever choked someone out. <laughs> never have I ever in Mitch class to sing rap songs in the bathroom. This, this is actually God, just, I just, this is just killing me. What was the funniest moment uh, with your six years? Over the last few years. It will always and forever be Robert Houdin's persuasive speech about why we should all pee in the shower. <laughs> well, my favourite school trip wasn't really a trip, but Miss Nick Henry brought us out to blow bubbles for Mental Health Week. And then when we finished our orals, we had to like say a shrap picture that we hate and then blow bubbles so it would just blow away. <laughs> <laughs> just explain, what's the story with the chair? It's a great chair, I can't sit and see them blue chairs, I can't sit in them. Got an IKEA for 70 euros. 70 quid. What is bigger, your biceps or your ego? The 
biceps on my ego. I think they're both about the same size. <laughs> <laughs> they're both massive. <laughs> they're probably the group I know the best. I think this is a group of six years that because of the experience we had in TY, I've never known as many students in one year group ever. So in terms of losing the year group, I feel like I'm losing the most students I actually know and care about. My best moment as year head, um, just so many little moments on a daily basis where just somebody comes to you with a question and then you end up having a nice chat and finding out something new about them. Um, yeah, it's just, just the connection. Yo, that's... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Here, actually, many men name their beards. Have you named your beard and what is it? I just call it the year. The year long, the year long beard. Even my yeah, it's real, it's real. Definitely, the teacher I'd like to thank is Mr. O'Sullivan. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's the, possibly the greatest human I've ever come across in my entire life. He made me the man I, I am today. I'd like to thank my teacher, yeah. Mr. Riley. Definitely. I just love him. <laughs> Everything about him. So just right, I think I'd like to thank Mr. Brennan. He was my face teacher from first to third year, and he kind of just taught us all to like cut the crap. And it's not primary school anymore. So live life like you're giving up. Cause you act like you are. Yeah. Okay. 